We are back we at are it back. in the closet. A Friday or whatever. night. And we it's don't a Friday really night. Podcast on a Friday night, but we don't. We we had a cheat night. Well, it was. Oh, I just got paid. <laughs> Look at you. Um. Dang, girl. I let's clarify that we had a cheat night. We we had a cheat meal. Had a cheat oh, meal. it's been twenty seven seconds, and you're I had a yawning. grilled cheese. I had a bunch of chips, dip. Gosh. That's probably why you're yawning. I'm ready for a um, nap. Usually yeah. Friday nights we go out to eat for our cheat meal, um, but. I, ever since I, I kind of started taking over the budget or taking over the expenses to hopefully work on a budget. And I deemed the first week of every month, no one in our household is supposed to get food out at a restaurant. I failed this week. I let Brooke get Panera for $10. Um, but I guess if we keep it Shame. under $30, that's pretty much not spending. You know what I mean? Because we usually spend hundreds of dollars. Not hundreds of dollars, but close up to $100 a week. So if we just cut out one week of doing that, that we're already saving that much money. And you, you know what? Having a well, cheat meal we'll, at home. We'll cut out more than one week. We shouldn't spend that much every week. We should shut Not that much every week, but I'm just saying, we this whole entire week, we did not eat out one time. We did not. So, and having a cheat meal at home was kind of fun. Like a grilled cheese. It was so good. It was really good. You don't really think good. about that. Like yeah. just a bunch of chips, grilled cheese. <clears throat> Remember the cheat night we had where we just had a bunch of cereals like cereals that was tarts, a blast just yeah waffle like breakfast night but like yeah good we've done we've done like chips that. and and snacks and snacky foods like some uh what some like pizza soft, bites yeah and like soft pretzels, soft pretzels. With cheese dip see that's what i'm talking about you can have a good night like that yes i know what you're saying well you're spending money to go get that stuff at the store you could just go to eat theoretically yes but what do we do when we go eat we drink drink and we spend that money like whatever we bought tonight. Well, last. I bought cheese, a couple different cheeses. Good point. I bought bread. Yeah, chips. The bread's gonna last all week. The kids week. will eat on that all week. The so, cheese yeah. is gonna last however long. Instead of spending ten dollars on a meal and it's eaten. gone, yeah. Chips will be gone before the end of the night because Nate's already in them. So. Well, it's all right. That's okay. He has. He, he has. No, a no. Right, yeah, it's right it's to party fine. too. So we did that, and normally, so normally we don't podcast on a Friday night. Is my whole point because we're usually out eating somewhere. And by the time we get back, and I shower because I work at GNC. Um, yeah, it is what it is. So here we go. Here we go. I went podcast. back. I went back to TikTok today. You did go back. That was a big deal. So I was telling you made your entrance. I did. I was telling which everybody, was weird when I got a TikTok. I know, right? From. I didn't even tell Jeff I was doing it because, like I've said, I, I explained to the TikTok family, I said, typically I'm very methodical and theoretical. Like, I, like, think things out and I have a plan. And I had done that. I had talked to Brooke and I had talked to Jeff. I was like, I think I'm going to wait till the six-month mark. And April 14th, I think I'll go back. And, and you know that. And that was the plan. And that's what I was going to do. But today I was just sitting here and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a TikTok. Oh. And I don't know if it's somebody posted a TikTok on Instagram and I watched it and I was like, I'm just going to go see what's going on on my account. And I still saw that my followers hadn't gone down really that much. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make a TikTok. I'm back. Let's just do this. And I just did it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't think about it. And I so noticed on your story yesterday, you had a few throwbacks. And I thought I, maybe she's my, getting the feel. That might maybe have Maybe a little bit too, of the feel. Because it was like, this was the prime last year for us. We really bonded. Right. And we did a lot of TikToks from, I think it was the whole quarantine March. phase, right? It was, it was. And then it just barreled through the summer where we were doing, well, we were doing a lot of lives in the evenings, right? Oh, I mean, every Because we were entertaining. Night. Every night we did a live, we would do, we had 80s night, 90s night. We'd well, we do had, music we nights. We had spirit. We'd do, yeah, we do. We'd do freaking. Games. Games. Pictionary. It did just because everybody was quarantined and everybody was home for days at a time. Right. So it, it, that's where it all started, but then it just kind of got out of control and where people were like, if I didn't go live, like I was doing noon fitness and nutrition lives, and if I didn't do that, then people were like, well, we're, you know? And yeah. then like it, it became, there was some negativity that was going on with it. Well, too, it kind of trains you where, you where you're under control right. by it. Like it, it kind of can train you to where... Right. You don't realize what an addiction it is sure. to the point of where you're checking your your views right. and your likes and your comments. And it's affecting and, your, and now it's affecting your 
your your yeah. moods, right? Yeah, I don't want that. Like you can be like, well, why am I? Why did? Why was I getting ten thousand views and then all of a sudden now I'm only getting two hundred? But, but you understand that is frustrating as it, somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's frustrating. It's fr- is frustrating to me, and you st- I still have to have pep talks to myself because you've quit for five months. I've continued to do it. I just went from doing three a day to maybe three to five a week. Right. Right. But the thing is, is you get tempted because you'll hit one. Right. And it'll make you excited. Right. And it's fun. And you get a lot of comments you're having fun with. And then after that, you'll go, nobody's seen these. I've done these after it and nobody's looking at them. Right. Just a couple hundred people are seeing them, which sounds like a lot. But when you're used to getting tens of thousands of people. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, maybe I need, you, you almost go back to that addiction of like, well, maybe I need to post more. Think about when to post, or maybe I need to do this. These trends to make. And then I'm like, no, right? I'm doing what I like to do. Right. And if I want to do a fact on the spur of a moment, or if I want to get on there and talk about how I hate the way my neighbor does something, I'll get on there and talk about it. Right. And people might not like it, but the fun thing is, is the people that I like, my people, we can converse about it. Right. And it gets to be fun. Yeah. No, Instead and of it being how, this chasing game. Right. That's how I want it to be. I was, it was just too much. And, and you know, the followers thing, like, I, you know, it started going down. And I was like, I don't understand. And, I, and it was the algorithm was getting on my nerves. And I thought it was just TikTok. And then I went over to Instagram and, and noticed it was happening there, too. So I think it's just an algorithm thing. And, and, and then it was the, some of the negativity that people can be really mean on TikTok. So they, yeah, they can. If you're on there, you already know. If you're thinking about having one or if, you, if your kids are asking for one, it's a very it can be a fun place. But it also can be uh, a place where it really brings adults down, too, because they can get downright mean. I mean, I even went on your page today and went back and watched some of the ones that you had me in. And some people were kind of mean. Were they? Like, I the train remember. one when I was just pretending. They were like, I'd be divorcing her and, like, Oh, yeah, because they think we're pay. serious. Like, I'm like, yeah. they, God, they th- I must be good. You are good. People think you're serious. I must be a good really actress funny. because, like, I'm totally joking. Right. I know. Like, 100%. Like I said, something about we should sue the – we should sue – there was a long train. <laughs> and we were at the train forever, and then there was two, and I was like, we should just sue them. I can't believe that they're making us sit here this long in a train. I would never act like that. But it's so funny to think that like people who don't know me at all may think that, oh my gosh. And then I saw people who know us who are cracking up, right? Right. When they know the real Angie. Like I would never get like, I, I'm not like that. So when I read people's comments like, oh my gosh, she's horrible. I feel so sorry for you. I cannot believe that she acts like that. I'm like, no, wait, hold on. I'm just teasing. I'm yeah, just... it's just us being so the way we are So you have to are, like let funny. go of that and like not let that bother you because who are they? You know what I mean? They don't know you and, and the real you. Right. You know what I mean? So well, that's what, I mean, uh, when you quit, you can't let followers get you down either. Because I was literally at... 26, 25,000, 25,000 followers probably in October when you quit. I got to 26,500. I lose them every day. I'm down to 20, 25,980 yeah. now. That's what that's what Every ha- day. I, I lose people all the time. So I've, I'm going backwards. That's what happens on Instagram too to me. It's But I don't gain any. Yeah. I just go backwards. It'll show that people are following me, and I'll get on there, and I've lost six. Uh, yeah, so that that just kind of aggravates me. And I don't me. know how you lose. Like, I'll look, and I've lost 60 people in a day. How do you lose? Uh, yeah. How many that many people in following That's me? the thing about social media sites is they control that, and they, yeah, they can weird. control the I mean, the it's fine, stuff, but it's but... like, how did I, for the first four months I was on it, you're growing thousands a day. And then I don't know. all of a sudden you're going backwards every day. I think a lot of things change with it. But I, I, I went back this time with a different mindset. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post when I want to post. I might post four in a day. I might post two a week. I might. I don't know. I don't have a plan. That's how I am. I'm just, I posted I'm, like last Saturday. I might have posted three or four. But yeah. then I didn't post again until tonight. I'll, I'll, which I'm sure you and I will now do it together We'll do a more, lot yeah, because we'll be know. thinking of talking about it together but, and sending um, each other stuff. But, and then, you know, the lives, I will not do a live every day. I might do a fitness and nutrition live once a week, twice a week, maybe. Um, Especially when school's out and I have more time. I don't have a whole lot of time right now. Um, And then the evening lives will be, you know, very, very sporadic. And I'm not going to say rare, but 
sporadic and a little bit short, a little bit shorter than what they used to be. Because we would be on there for like an hour, an hour and a half, and I'm not, I can't do that. No. Like tonight was like twenty, maybe thirty minutes. I might have pushed it to thirty minutes, but that was it. Yeah. You know. So anyway, I'm back on TikTok. So if you want to follow me there, it's Angie Fitco there as well. But um, so that's you know fun, uh, and that's really about all the news I have today. Good. Other than it was like freaking crazy at work today. Busy. Well, not busy in the sense of customers, but busy in the sense of, I I told Jeff I had to unload a truck and they're like, what truck? What do you mean? I was like. When you say unload a truck, that means there's a truck and you're unloading it. No. uh, What? The truck's not there. There's no truck on site. There's no truck that you're unloading. Okay, but what I meant is, that's what we say. You need to unload boxes. That's what we say. The truck just got here tonight. I want you to unload the truck. Somebody needs to come up there and teach teach y'all how to talk. No, that's how, we understand exactly what we're saying. So anyway, as soon as I got there, the truck was there, and there was like forty some boxes. Well, so again, the truck was there. Were they unloading the truck and bringing the boxes in? Yes. So I got the there. truck was there, hanging out. Mm-hmm. And they were bringing all the boxes. And when I say forty boxes, it's not like huge boxes. One box can be a case of energy drinks. Right. But then there are big boxes. Anyway, long story short, that's all I did all night. So I burned extra calories tonight, which was not a bad thing. This is benign. He said it. You went to the doctor today. Tell us about what happened at the doctor. These are spots as you get older that he told me what it was, and it's a long term that I don't understand. Did you feel better about it? He said, you don't need to have it removed. He said, unless it gets like really changes a lot and gets and you sure. get concerned, it's... Tinder, he said it's nothing to worry about. Okay, what else did he check out that um, you might have been worried about? Did he check your balls? Did he cough? Did you cough today? No, but the two nurses did. <laughs> I've seen the nurses there. It would not excite you. Um, I he didn't know. He, didn't, he, he, he didn't do any of that coughing or anything. What? No. You were there for a checkup. I thought they'd be like we'll the get, We're getting all kinds of blood work done. I don't think oh, they gosh. do. I don't, don't think ever they, do that. I don't that. think That's they do that anymore. Scares me. In the middle of a podcast. I didn't, I didn't what do you need? I knocked and I said, no, oh, what do you need? Uh, but y'all are so loud. No, no, no. But don't, don't like fall into my door like that again. Yeah. Next time just knock, because that kind of startled me for some I reason. I didn't mean to. All right. All right, cool. Bye. Um, I thought that's what the main thing they do at the doctor when you go for an exam. They haven't done that forever. Well, that's not good. Then you need a new doctor. That's like, the, they got to make sure None of them don't. I never had it done the other place either. Isn't that, do they not do that anymore? No, I don't think so. You have to check your balls, just like we have to check I check my boobs. own balls. You do not. The doctor checks your boob when you go in for a checkup? Not that doctor, primary. but my, my OB doctor does. Yeah, my regular doctor, just we just talked and it was just a checkup. And then he sent, he's, we're going to have blood work. And I guess the blood work can show you what's wrong nowadays. You know what, though? It's uh, I was reading the sign on the wall. And uh, when I was waiting on the doctor... And I guess 50 is the number. You have to start getting your... Anal at 50. Yeah, I saw that. That's not what the sign said. It didn't say anal at 50. Well, I sure hope not. But that's what I'm going to get at 50. I'm going to get anal at 50. I can't wait. God, I can't get your I'm going to put that enough. on your 50th birthday cake. You get anal now. <laughs> <laughs> and I will take and you I'll up on like, it. I'll be like, no, from the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess your your chances increase. It, of getting a prostate cancer. Um, but other than that, it's just a lot of talk between me and the doctor, which is doctor-client privilege, right? Well, it's you not can tell public. me off. It's not public knowledge. No, why did you tell him? Did you confide in him about something? Always. That's what you do with the doctor. You just confide well, yeah. in him. What yeah, you, confide you tell about? him all kinds of stuff. I'm like, Doc, you got to hear about this. Did you? Did, do I have a booger on my nose? No. Oh, I feel like something's there. Um... What did you tell I'm him? like, Doc, what about, I'm 45. Do you think my testosterone's going down? What did he say? He said, yes, you're 45. Of course it is. It starts going down in your 30s. He said, it's definitely down. But is it down too much, he said. He said, a lot of guys come in here now because it's so popular and everybody hears about their testosterone. Right. He said, your testosterone's going to go up and down. He said, sure, it's down lower, but it's normal for your age, I'm sure. He said, we'll test it and watch it. He said, but... You really, unless you're having problems, like if you if you like don't ever want to have sex, your energy's low. He said. Then he said, I have. He said I've had 32, 33 year old guys come here and say, Doc, 
I don't ever want to have sex. And my wife thinks I'm cheating on her. And he's like, they're like, I really just can't have sex. And he said, I test them, and their testosterone's like a grandmother's. Whoa. And he said, we ha-, He said, no wonder you don't you you don't work. You're not you're not a man. He didn't say that, but basically. He treats them and they're fine, you know. Right. But the problem is with testosterone, I didn't realize once you start taking it, he said you can take it for six months and come off of it. But once you take it for years, he said your body, it tells your body, as soon as you start artificially taking it, it tells your body to stop making it Ooh. because you don't need it. So he said after four years, you're taking it forever. Yeah, so you really because your body taking won't it make you really it again. Need to take it. Yeah, he said, so what I do is he said, I watch it. He said, I watch it, we'll see. And he said, if, if you think you're having problems, I was like, I don't think I am. I said, I just want to stay at maximum You should have said, testosterone. can we phone my wife? Exactly. No, you're not having trouble. I don't care. I said, I don't, I don't have trouble. I said, I'm, I, said I, I get tired, I, but my libido's fine. I'm yeah. freaking stallion, bro. Oh, my gosh. Um, did you tell him I'm a stallion, bro? I did. I bet he was like, what? Was he the same doctor I saw? Doctor, was he like yeah. a little bit older? It's just kind of blah looking. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. Really nice. Yeah. He told me I was a picture of health, that there was really nothing else to do here. Really? He was like, you're the easiest patient I've had in weeks. Yeah. I was like, I'm super stressed. My wife, she's a bitch. She beats on me and she yells at me all the time. I think you saw her. She's a patient here too. Um, uh huh. And. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I didn't tie us together. He was all flustered because her system changed. He's like, You're the first patient I've had to put in as a new patient. I can't find out. I can't figure out I where to go with systems. this stuff. I don't know. Why do they if why do they change things? I know. Right? Why do they have to change things? I, I have it figured that. out and they gotta change things. And uh so he I, just said, We'll do blood work, we'll look at your cholesterol, we'll look at your testosterone, we'll look at everything that you think, you know, and then we'll, we'll, if there's an issue, we'll, we'll address it. Well, you're lucky that you can get your blood work done um, because you have insurance. I cannot. He ordered blood work for me, too, which I never did because I can't want to pay for it. Well, you can go to a lab and pay like 10 bucks per thing he asked for. Well, I don't know where my lab stuff went through away. Sounds like I'm not doing this, so. Well, you need to, regardless of insurance, because it's not that expensive. Well. So you just go to the hospital and they'll take your the you blood and send it over to You told me, don't go do it. Because you don't have insurance and it's expensive. I did not. Yeah, you did. You're lying you said, to the fans. No, I'm not. You said don't go in there and get it done. That's what you said. I didn't say that. I said don't get your blood work done. Yeah. You said don't don't go. No, what you really said is don't go back to the office. Go somewhere else and get it done. That's what you uh, really Okay, said. I was going to say, what is wrong with me? <laughs> no. If I said that, I'm I way off. No, you said it in a roundabout what way. What I just said, basically. You said it's basically like, don't, don't do go to there. the office because... They inflate it. It's ridiculous. I remember our office when I had Brooke there, and they were like, when I told them I don't have the insurance, they were like, don't get it done. Go here or here because... Just for us to send it off to a lab, they'll charge three, four hundred dollars yeah. because they think they can rape insurance. Right. And you can go down, and I think I paid like forty-five bucks, and we're done. I need to for her labs. I'm sure that I can just call up there and say, "Hey, he ordered this. I lost it." Oh yeah, Whatever. he'll hook you but up. It's just blood work. It's just blood work. It's not like you're getting more crack. More crack. Never yeah. had crack to begin with. Oh, whose crack was that? I guess yours. Oh. You're not funny. Anyway, my doctor's appointment was a success, as far as I know. Um, um, he wouldn't tell me how long I have to live. I asked several times. I was oh like, Doc, my gosh. how long do I have to live? And he was. He said something like, life expectancy right now is up in the mid-70s. And I said, can you tell me exactly how long I have to live? I'd like to plan. Wow. And how did he answer that? He didn't. I didn't figure. I think he was a little irritated. He was um, irritated? You irritated the doctor? I think he's... I don't know. I couldn't really tell. He's a, He's kind of emotionless. He's, emo, he's not emotion. He doesn't have a lot of emotion. He's, sure. And with the mask on... But yeah. he said I sounded good when he listened to me take deep breaths. Well, he, he, when he listened to me, he's like, oh, hold on. And then he listened again. He goes, oh. I thought for a second I heard a little heart murmur, but this thing is just so sensitive. It picks up. He goes, I listen, and I thought I heard something, and then I move a little thing, and then it's gone, and I move it back, and then it's gone, so you're good. And I'm like, what? You want to check again? Yeah, maybe check that out one more time. I feel like I should go get my heart checked out anyway. 
That's what I was talking about with someone at work today with, with Corndog. I was like, because he was talking about something medical. And I was like, why don't we have something that's affordable where they can freaking tell us how clogged we are? <clears throat> our arteries and our heart. You know what I mean? In, without having to pay thousands of dollars to go get like a heart cath or anything right. like that. Because I could go do a stress test right now. Yeah, but you could pass your stress test and that's have a heart my attack point. the next day. No, but that's my point. My dad, he was like I am right now. You know what I mean? He was yeah. healthy. He was getting around. He was playing golf all the time and working and doing his thing and not struggling. And all of a sudden, he's freaking 90% blocked in two arteries. Yeah. You know, at 50 years old. He didn't know. Is and it just something they test for on a symptom basis? Or can you go in and say, I have a history? Because your mom was kind of the same. Has heart issues, too, or did. I don't feel like they do as older as they are now. It was like when they were like in their fifties, they had the trouble, and now they seem to. Well, be they able- corrected all their stuff. Oh, okay. Remember, I mean, like his diet. Yeah. He corrected it. He ch- he changed the way he ate. He started drinking wine. Yeah. You know, he started to to. He got some stents in, and some of the problems corrected themselves. But. I mean, can't you just say I have a history of blah blah blah? Yeah, probably, but I. I don't know if how much that stuff would cost to get done. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, this sucks, is really nerdy talk. Sucks getting really older. stupid talk. You're stupid talk. I am stupid talk. I was just asking how your doctor appointment went. That's all I was asking. It went great. I mean, geez. I mean, from the what I got out of it, I probably, barring any accidents, I should live the next 30 years. That's not that long. No, 40. 30. 30. Yeah. About 75, right? No, longer than that. My grandma's 86. Yeah, but not mine. Nobody in my family. Okay, this is depressing. I'm not even talking about it anymore. This is like not even <laughs> cool talk. 30. That's like not that old. Like Maddie's 20. Okay, can you stop? <laughs> like we will be dead before we know it. Oh my gosh. Cheers. I'm not talking to you anymore about any of this. I'm not talking to you anymore about any of this. That's just crazy. Um, I don't know. I was going to say something, and then you got me all sad. So, never mind. Oh. Well, it's it's just depressing talk. Well, then let's go back to talking about TikTok. Um, what about TikTok? I don't know. I'm back. That's it. That's all there's. Caught up about. on all the trends. No, definitely <laughs> not. I, I barely even knew how to post a video today. I was like, "What is happening? What do I do?" Right. That's funny. You do something for so long and you get away from it. And it's oh, like, it, this is funny. I was at work tonight, and um, this guy came in. He comes in often. He's one of he's one of my manager's friends, and he he plays like he knows me, and I like don't know I don't know him. Like I don't know where I know him from. I have no idea. He's like, how's the training? How's the bandit? We come in tonight. He came in tonight. He was on the phone. He went, and uh, he came up to pay, but he was still on the phone. He's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. He goes, I see you're back on TikTok. And I was like, yeah. He goes, that's awesome. He's like, all right. And he started talking. And I was like, maybe that's where he knows me from. Wow. Or yeah. he's just your Instagram. Like, and no, all I, your social media. Yeah, but I didn't put that I was back on TikTok on Instagram yet. Oh. I just went back to TikTok. So he's, he's just stalking you. He on, might No, but I think TikTok. he's on TikTok as well. I think right, he's got like a... Right. I think Austin told me like 150,000 followers or something. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know what his name is on there. I'll have to look him up. I know his name, but I don't know if it's his name on there. I don't remember his last name. But anyway, so I thought that was pretty funny, right? That is funny. Yeah. So that's my story for the day. Wow. Yeah. You have a story for the day? I went to the doctor. We already know this. (laughs) (laughs) And he didn't play with my balls? Um, I know. I think that's suspect. I did have a doctor in Atlanta. My doctor he in Atlanta. He always played with your he balls. He checked my balls regularly. You should. I even asked him I'm why he Google checked. That. I even asked him why he checked my balls so much. And he said, this is, he said it's because he used to not do it. And one of his patients that was young got testicular cancer and died. Because right. I guess it's so deadly. So from that point on, he checks balls. But if I were wanting to touch guys' balls, that's exactly what I would say. Here it says, some doctor recommends checking your testicles once a month. Others say it's fine to have your doctor check once a year. Your doctor failed today. 
So do I have to ask him to check my balls? No, I think that that no, should be... No, I go back in in six months, September something, and I can't believe in six months it's going to be September. Shit. I, when I go in there, I'm going to go, Doc, I, need, I read that you're supposed to check my balls once a year. We need to do this. We need to do this now. Um, Why don't I take my pants off when I'm in your office ever? It's, <laughs> you need to do your job. I pay a copay. I pay a fifteen dollar copay, which is a really good po- low copay for me. And I want my balls checked out of this. Um, hold on, I'm down again. But this honestly, one. if I were a guy who wanted to pay with another guy's balls, and I could say, and they said, "Why do you play with my balls so much?" I would say, "Because I used to not play with balls so much, and someone that I should have played with their balls died because I didn't play with their balls." Oh enough. my gosh. This says your doctor should examine your testicles at least once a year. He or she will grasp one testicle at a time, rolling it gently between the thumb and first finger to feel oh, for gloves. The gosh, doctor will I also feel out. for test- testicle is hardened or enlarged. The doctor will teach That's... you how to do testicular, testicular self-exams. I would love to be a fly on the wall. That's... <laughs> watching that happen that's what he said too when he was explaining testosterone to me he said it also can mess with your reproductive system because your balls will shrink up oh because your balls is what shoots the testosterone up so once your body tells your balls you don't need testosterone anymore your balls are out of business and they'll start shrinking so as long as you don't worry you don't need to have kids or anything that's okay if you don't mind your balls shrinking but then I was like, I will have to ask my wife because I don't know. We've never really talked about balls and what her preference is. Right. If she likes big balls um, or if balls are even a thing. I, it's not even, I, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a null and void. I mean, what, what do they girl. do for me? I mean, well, right. I, they yeah. don't really do anything yeah. other than make noise, and sometimes it's annoying. They make noise? Well, when you, yeah, I mean. My balls make noise? When, when, we're, when we're doing the deed. Oh, and they're slapping. Yeah, so, and sometimes that gets a little like annoying. I'm like, could you tuck those up or something while we're doing this? Like, that gets can annoying. Can you pin them back? I mean, not and if I think about it for too long. Like, if I will I, never be able to. I, I'm going to struggle now. No, we're going to have problems now. No, we I'm need just, to get a counselor. <laughs> no, not like really, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know if 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 I how can I put this. If I don't focus on it, I don't even think about it. It's Why just like the it's like the drippy faucet in the in the in the bathroom the past two nights. Our our shower has been dripping. If I wake up and I don't think about if I'm asleep, I don't hear, I don't think about it. If I wake up and I don't think about it, so once I start se- thinking if the about sex it, it's is like good oh my enough gosh. for you not to yeah, think about it. That's what I'm saying. Then you won't think about it. Right, but, but if when it's you're just bored like, and you're like, gosh, yeah, I wish you'd I'm hurry tired, up, this is like, lame. And I hear that, and then I might yeah. think, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, if this is lame, I I mean, don't it ever and... give it a second thought. Any, uh, well, I will now does, every no, time. No, because it doesn't even have, no, I'm not, oh my gosh, are you a girl all of a sudden? <laughs> like, geez, I'm not a girl, Do you now? but if you say anything about a man's... I'm not um, trying to be mean. Genital area. It's like a dude's like, well, if it was shaped this way or that way, I wouldn't, it wouldn't no, be it weird to me No, it has nothing to do about the shape or anything. It's no, a, I'm it's just giving sound. an example. That's not it's a horrible example because it's not even, that's not even close to what I was saying. Well, no, I know, but it's just to say. I'm never talking about shape. Says, you ask me. You asked me. I ask you about if slapping. I big balls or little balls. And I said, I'm indifferent. I said, sometimes right, it gets but, annoying when they slap. And I'm like, can you just tuck them away for a minute? <laughs> and they slap. I mean, I don't understand why that's bad. It's not anything. It's it's not about you or what your performance or your size or your shape right. or your right. whatever. Right. Has nothing to do with that. Everybody, every guy has them, and I'm sure they slap every once in a while. <laughs> I don't dwell on it. I don't sit here like I don't want to have sex. I don't want to hear his ball slap. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying every once in a while, if you're in a certain mood where you might not be in a hundred percent, and then you hear the. That you're just like, oh my gosh, like I feel weird sometimes. But it doesn't even happen that often. So glad to hear about this. No gosh, you're gonna (sighs) Don't take this and run with it. Please don't take this and run with it. Don't take this and run with it. Treat this situation like when you when you say that you think it'd be cool to have sex with a dead person. Okay, just listen to that. No, 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 that's not the same. No, it has weight. Saying having sex with a dead person is completely a joke. 
it's not a real okay this isn't necessary (laughs) oh my gosh you have me painted in a corner like i've done something bad it's not that it's not like it's a bad thing it's not it's not a bad thing i'm not saying it's a bad thing you don't have to think a second thought about it okay Oh, I see that look on your face. Now he has a smirk. We're going to have a conversation when we turn this off. No, we won't. We won't have a conversation. Yes, we will. Because now you're going to be insecure about it. It's going to be completely so slow stroking from now on <laughs> out. <laughs> no, because I'll be like, get the ball slap and let's go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're taking what I'm saying like way too seriously. No, I'm not. I'm having fun with it. It's you better good. be. Yeah. You yeah. better not be self conscious about it. He's going next week. He's going to send me a message and be like, "I'm really self conscious about my ball slaps." <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, "Where my ball slapping last night?" It, it very rarely. I'm gonna be holding. Like, like I'm just gonna. No. <laughs> oh, that might be kind of fun. Though. That, that extra like. That extra like fist down there, like in the way. Wow. Wow. What? I'm just hit my head on the wall. I'm just talking. Are we not all adults here? We are adults. I could get a contraption where maybe I could tie a rope or they something. They might make a little stack for him. Don't even start. They might. The non-slap stack. <laughs> sack. A pillow around them. A pillow. Like a little, little, a little barrier. I'm joking. It's not that big of a deal. You're making this like way big of a deal than it really is. I can't. Th- t- I can't even think the last time that sound. I heard that sound. And that's it's not good. because that's we a, haven't had sex. That's it's a good answer. It, it, you have to be in the right position in the right situation. You. you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Or I was like really into it, obviously. You, it wasn't lame, so it wasn't a normal <sighs> sex back situation. To my, like, how do you feel under those lights, Angie? <laughs> I mean, God. <laughs> feel like, now I know how to be a dude a trying dude, to explain yeah, out yourself of out of a situation. Yeah, like, stuck under I didn't those even mean it like that. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't. Okay. I, I, I right. swear, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I really do think you should call your doctor back and say, I feel slighted with my appointment. I did not get my balls checked. And I'm not paying another copay. I'm coming in there. You're going to fill my balls. <laughs> you said play. <laughs> Those are really weird exams, just like a breast exam. So, like, when I go to my gynecologist and I have a breast exam, you have to, like, put your arm up over your head, and then, like, you're, you don't have any clothes on. I mean, you're covered with a sheet. But like he, but your boobs out, and like he's he's massaging around on it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like cold in there, so whatever. And he's like, so how have you been? And I'm like, right. just shut up. And, and like he, I think they're trained to like look at the wall, because they didn't look at you. He's like, right. you know, looking at the wall, feeling around, the you know, no look, the, the no, no look, look and, and then like making making small talk. I don't want to small talk when you're feeling around on me. But it would be a lot creepier if you made eye contact. Oh, if he made eye contact, that would be bad. Yeah, that'd be really bad. I just think that we could just do this in silence. Be super creepy, but then is that awkward? No, it's not even awkward. I'm not really that that. I'm much better than I used to be as far as modesty goes. Like it doesn't really bother me now, because he does that when he's down there doing. Because I had to spend a lot of time with him over the past few months because of all my issues. And so now I'm just like, whatever. So, like, he's just like, how's the kids? How's, how's college life for it? And I'm, like, scraping away down there doing whatever. Ugh. Yeah. So, it's interesting. But I guess it would be awkward. I can't even have anybody stand at the register while I'm looking up their account. And it's taking forever on our new system in silence. So, I can't imagine if I was doing a breast exam on somebody. I'd have to make small talk. What's your favorite color? What do you like to eat? Where do you work out? people with... I wonder if people with great tits. Oh, so what pe- are you saying? People with bad. I'm not talking about you. Oh. I'm talking about if I'm the doctor oh, okay. and I've got people and I'm doing, a, I don't know how many titty exams a, a day. Right. Half a dozen, two dozen, three dozen. Do nice titties get better and more concentrated exams like than the bad titties? Um, or, or are they all okay? Or do you even care anymore? I don't think they care anymore. I think once you feel one, you felt them all. I think... When it comes to... When I you wonder if it's hard, basis. though, if they're really nice for him not to look at. No, because here's the thing. You know... No, I think once you're you around something all the time, all I think time? it just makes you numb. It's just like and working in the gym. People are like, you know, when I used to work in the gyms, they were like, oh, you must have good scenery. It must be nice. I don't even notice. I don't even notice. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm like numb to it. Like, I, honestly, when you're around something all the time, like men and women with muscle, I don't notice unless it's just something odd or extraordinary or really like, like I said, like strange. Right. Like shaped weird. Like, yeah. That dude's biceps are really strange. Yeah. Or whoa, he is a monster. You know what I mean? Like right. super, like monster. Right. Like I don't even notice. So it's probably the same thing, don't you think? They don't even. So they have to be just, extraordinary tits. Yeah, or like really misshaped. Or misshaped. It'd be yeah. like, gosh, I gotta take another look at this. Same thing with like a plastic surgeon. I feel like that does breast implants. I just would like to have a gyno friend that I can say, how well, do you I, like? Because me as a gynecologist, I would be like. You could, who is you who is be. Cheryl? Like who is Cheryl? Yeah. And they'd be like, Cheryl has the funny shaped nipples, and I'd be like, Cheryl. They probably do. Cheryl. They probably do. Or they'd be like, Cheryl. You she's got the really nice rack. You and I'm like, well, there's about twelve that come in, you know, a year. You could not be a guy. You would be. You would. It would go against all um, HR. HR protocol would not be good. Would not be good for you. I wouldn't do anything inappropriate. You would when they left and send the nurses and you would have an up, one of those uptight nurses who don't want to joke about Cheryl and think that it's inappropriate and you shouldn't joke about patients. So you couldn't be... Joking about your clients and insurance would be different than joking about patients in a doctor setting. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do all the time. I'm sure there's stuff oh, like, sure you know, there. like, I'm like sure. I love Tanya. Tanya cranks open so much easier than everybody else. Like, it's just cranks open. so much easier. You know what? And that's what I love about Tanya when she comes in because I don't have to really crank. I just, a couple of cranks, She gets Tanya, in the position just right. I don't even have to tell her to scoot her hips down. Like, I do Angie. Angie, every time she comes in, I'm like, I have to tell her, come how on, many scoot times have you done this? You've been this? doing this for Push years. Push your hip. Bring your scoot, hips down. Bring it down here like you can get a little action. No, you come can't on. See, that's, you can't say that. Like, you, you can't you can't say that. Lean into it. A and B. This is not how I get action. Matthew McConaughey's down here. Uh, I'll be right there. Scoot I'll down. I'll be right there. <laughs> oh yes, I'll be right there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm coming. <laughs> I bet you are. Oh my gosh. On that note. Yeah, that's fun. It's fun. I will do your test testicular exam. I will. I'll, I'll research it on the internet. I'll look up a YouTube video and I'll roll your balls in between my fingers and make sure everything is right. That makes me nervous. <laughs> You'll just be down there looking around like, is there somewhere to tuck these? <laughs> well, it's just like staying. It's just the same thing when you're like, when I had the babies and you're like, doctor, can you put an extra stitch in there for me? Why? Is it not good enough for you? Of so course see, it is. That's a joke. Okay. So I, maybe I'm joking. It's a joke. It was a joke. Uh-huh. I was trying to be funny. God, it backfired. It did. Alright, I'm Good done. Work. I'm All gonna right. go sit on the couch. This was fun. Okay, I'm in trouble. Good night. <laughs> I'm in trouble. No, never. <laughs>